Welcome. Today I'm looking forward to talking to you and explaining more about stress. So we start with the obvious. What is stress? Well, a lot of people actually believe that stress is from their environment, the people around them, the pressure they're placed under, or time restrictions. But you know what? It's none of that. It's actually how we're reacting to a situation. So what do I mean by that? Well, so often the same situation occurs, but we have different reactions. So think of the obvious. If you have young children, they spill their drinks, don't they? And how do you react? Well, it depends. One time you may say, it's okay, sweetheart. I understand. I know you didn't mean that. And the next time, you could get really cross and angry. Uh, you know, to some extent, a complete overreaction for the type of event. Now, if you don't have children and can't relate to that, think about driving in traffic and a driver cuts you off. One day, you can just see red and be completely frustrated. And another day, you can almost shrug and just say, oh, well, whatever, you're a bad driver, I'm a good driver, have a good day. Same event different reaction. Now, what does stress do to us? Well, that's interesting, isn't it? it? It can cause what's known as the flight or fright response in us. Um, and this is almost from our caveman days. You're being highly alert. Our, our life depended on things. And physical changes actually happen in our body when we're stressed. Things like your heart beats faster, your brain function changes, and it actually narrows, because it's all about life-saving things, isn't it? But what's happened is, we've gone from this being a life or death situation to it just happening in our daily lives for trivial events. Now, stress can cause some really interesting reactions in our body. They're cognitive, physical, emotional, and behavioral. Now, I'm going to preface this with some of these can be because of other things happening in our body and medical issues. So please, if you need to, see a doctor. However, let's break it down and go through. Cognitive signs, things like memory problems, forgetfulness, inability to concentrate, poor judgment, uh, seeing only the negative, anxious, racing thoughts, constant worry, I imagine some of you may be relating to them. Now, physical signs and symptoms of stress, aches and pains, diarrhea or constipation, nausea, dizziness, chest pain, rapid heartbeat, loss of sex drive, frequent colds. Mm, sound familiar again? Yeah, perhaps. Emotional signs and symptoms, moodiness, short-temperedness, agitation, uh, feeling overwhelmed, sense of loneliness and isolation, uh, depression or even general unhappiness. And then behavioural signs, eating more or less, sleeping more or less, isolating yourself, procrastinating, using alcohol, cigarettes or drugs to compensate, or nervous habits, things like nail biting and pacing. So one of my guiding principles is actually in any situation, good or bad, we're offered a gift that provides some benefit. It's just a matter of finding the gift. Many people who are overtaken by events are quickly to declare them a setback or a disaster. Instead, you can ask, where's the gift in this? And that's from John McGrath. So next time you're starting to feel you, that you might be stressed, think about how you're labeling the situation, how you're reacting to the situation, and whether perhaps you can do something different. So you're welcome to access the website www.lifestylerefocus.com.au for our free resources or some of our products. And I wish you a happy, relaxed and stress-free week. Think about how you react to situations and where you can improve your reaction.